Dear holiest students, here I am, alone in a completely empty hall, talking to myself like I'm losing my mind. But, probably for reasons of my own sanity, I've decided to send you a short video message, as maybe that's a bit more human than yet another email. The first thing I want to say, on behalf of my colleagues, is how much we miss you. The school really is only a building. Without your spirit, your energy, your sense of humour and your talents, it's not quite the same. So we're in this period of the coronavirus, and yes, it has left some of us feeling a little scared, a little lost and a little alone. And we do keep hearing those stories on the news of loss and tragedy. But, and this is the crucial bit, we're also seeing stories of hope, encouragement and inspiration. The government of Jersey recently launched a scheme called Connect Me, seeking volunteers to help members of our community out during these difficult times. The response was overwhelming. Over 2,000 individuals and 170 plus businesses signed up to play their part. This tells us that community spirit is alive and well here in Jersey. The coronavirus, while certainly causing difficulties and tragedy for some, is also making us ask some difficult but important questions about the way we live. For instance, our impact on the environment. We know that where polluting factories have had to cease functioning for a short period of time, we're seeing less smog and clearer blue skies. We take the majestic city of Venice, which has been literally falling apart in recent years due to over-tourism and the associated pollution. Venice is now back to its former glory with crystal blue waterways and sea life beginning to show itself. A survey two years ago found that 70% of UK residents said they didn't know or talk to their immediate neighbours. And in a strange paradox, maybe the coronavirus is making us rethink that approach. Yes, we can only manage now a socially distanced hello, when we're out for our short period of exercise each day. But perhaps those hellos are of profound importance. When I'm not in school, I'm actually quite a shy, quiet individual. I found myself walking around the lanes of St. Wands for a bit of exercise. And I'm not normally that type of person who gives out a hello to people as they walk past. But something the other day made me offer a, a polite, socially dis distanced hello to a senior citizen I was passing. And we struck up a conversation, five metres apart, about what was happening in her life and what was happening in mine. And at the end of that conversation, she told me that I was the first person she had spoken to in five days. And that really hit me and shook me and made me think, if I can make a difference to someone's life just through that socially distant hello, maybe that should be something we're doing more of. You'll all be familiar with the saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And your temporary absence from this building is so keenly felt. But that said, we are hearing great stories of how you are coming together, even whilst remaining apart, in supporting each other and vulnerable members of the community. So I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for sending those friendly check-in emails, sharing of activities and learning, and general sense of keep calm and carry on. As but one example of this, at the end of this message, I'm gonna share with you a video from Phoebe in year 13. At less than 24 hours notice, Phoebe kindly recorded a new song and recorded herself about life under lockdown. I'm sure you'll join me in enjoying the wonders of another holier student's talents. But before we get to Phoebe, a few words of words that take us back to the here and now about the awarding of qualifications 
grades and learning. Year 13 A-level and IB students, Year 12 AS students, and Year 11 GCSE students, we continue that wait for formal instruction from Ofqual, the exams regulator, and the exam boards on how your grades will be awarded. We know that we will be asked to report on your progress and our predictions of where you will be heading, along with any coursework indicators, but we don't know the exact detail of how this is to happen yet. As soon as we have this, we will let you know. The same applies to our range of finance qualifications. Year 13 A-level students, after Easter, we won't be continuing with your formal curriculum anymore because we have all the evidence we need to help inform your grades. But what we will be doing is reaching out to support you for your university, employment, or general career support. Please do get in contact if you need help with any of those activities. Year 11 students, after the Easter break, we will not be asking you to continue with your GCSE studies, as again, we have the evidence we need. But in May, we will be turning our attention to learning that will serve as an important preparation for your sixth form studies, including a formal pre-AS or IB task for each subject. Year 12 AS students, with the cancellation of your exams, after Easter, we will be moving on to the full A-level curriculum. Without the exams, there is of course no need for study leave, so we will keep engaging you with work that forms part of the overall A-level course. Year 10 and Year 12 IB students, your studies of course continue, albeit in the distance learning format. Most importantly of all, keep communicating with us about your studies. If you're finding any of the work you're being set challenging or you're not sure, ask your teachers, get in contact with us. We are here to help. I now want to wish you all a very safe, healthy and happy Easter period. We will still continue to be here over the Easter period, so do get in touch if we can do anything to support you. Until then, Summa Patamas, Holia. Hello, uh, my name's Phoebe Over. This feels really weird, but I thought I would record a song for everyone to listen to at home. I hope everyone's having fun, uh, not at school or, you know, working at home. And yeah, I haven't actually named this song because I wrote it about an hour ago, last minute, but I've got the words behind me and yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy it. This is my fourth attempt to record this video. I look to my left and I see no one sitting there. Nobody who cares, just table and chairs. Maybe it's because I'm looked away. Living in your thoughts can get a bit crazy Living in a bubble made the world look hazy Because I stop thinking I look better than I do Which is a top on backwards, one so kind of shoe Now maybe not seeing the world for a little bit Will make me appreciate the stars And maybe think about having a Heart to heart with my friends that I have not seen in a while I hope they still like me and not just my profile picture That I keep on changing, it's meant to be draining but I'm aging and painting, it's raining, frustrating When I go outside, I swear I'll stop complaining Containing, just laying, arranging a gift to entertain myself I want to go outside and do the things I like. Sick of watching the paint dry. Recognize the better life, but I'm happy in my home. Face time, don't feel alone. Try put. 
When I go outside, I swear I'll stop complaining Containing, just laying, arranging a gift to entertain myself But I want to go Thumbs up, guys. Uh, <laughs> stay safe.